the Twin Towns' Macau River has always been a place of peace and relaxation for Kaya residents. But soon, the riverbanks will be seeing an upgrade that will also invite more tourists to the area, while providing river goers with more activities to enjoy. It's a double project of sorts. San Ignacio will see a boardwalk near the low-lying bridge, while over in Santa Elena, a river park is being planned at the foot of the Hawksworth Bridge. And the town's Councillor for Economic Development and the PUP mayoral candidate explained that this has been a dream of the residents for decades, and he believes it will take them to the top of the tourism destination list. This development here is something very much needed. After growing up in San Ignacio, Santa Elena all my life, used to swim on this very river bank. This is gonna bring a lot of economic prosperity. Um, it'll also bring a lot of um, business opportunities uh, for the local investors. We can, I, I already imagine um, night kayaking. Uh, people are going to do night fishing, we can do night markets and, and other activities, especially on Santa Elena side now. Usually everything is done on San Ignacio and the residents of Santa Elena has always been clamoring for more activities on this side. So with this development here, this is definitely going to bring San Ignacio and Santa Elena back on track. We are now number two, I believe, when it comes to tourism destination. This should be able to bring us back to number one and that's our goal is to bring San Ignacio Santa Elena to number one in tourism. And the Belize Tourism Board is also rooting for Cayo. This project is being funded by them. And today the minister explained why they feel the need to invest in infrastructure. They came to us with a plan. Uh, when it got to that point where we felt comfortably investing in it, um, we decided to partner with the era rep, uh, Honorable Alex Balona and um, uh, other members to ensure that this project comes through. Infrastructure is important and uh, the Cayo district is uh, always ranks the top three in tourist arrivals and so the upliftment projects are just a part of our infrastructure upliftment plan for the country. Um, we have uh, programs for Corozal, Orange Walk, um, because we believe we could create a corridor in the north and then go, go into the Sartaneja area. We have projects in Sartaneja, we have project in, projects in PG, um, uh, other parts of the Toledo district, um, Placenza Peninsula. So uh, a lot of exciting things are happening at this time. And while at this double inauguration groundbreaking, there were PUP ministers, area reps, councillors and campaigners, the UDP mayor was notably absent. According to Preston, that's been a trend over the last few months. This is something that's been on the pipeline for since I was a, a, a kid, over 20 years ago. And as Honorable Lanny Habit mentioned, he envisioned this from when he was the, when he was mayor. And back then, tourism wasn't that big, resources and, and finance. And um, I know we've been having meetings for the past year, year and a half. And my portfolio is economic development. And for the past six months, the mayor has not shown up to any meetings when it comes to the council. So I, I can't speak on his behalf. But while he says that this project isn't red or blue, he added that he does have other big plans for the Macau River. My team and I were committed to bring more activities and bring those old traditional um, activities that they used to have on the riverside. And also all the old time games and also some um, canoeing activities. Because La Ruta Maya, uh, after La Ruta Maya, we only see that when it starts. After that, there's no more event. But we want to have some canoeing events in San Ignacio and Santa Elena. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.